Hey, what's up, guys? This is Savage T, and I'm gonna be making a video on Marvel Contest of Champions a game I've never uploaded before, but I wanna try to start uploading because I've played it more than most of the games. But uh, this is top five worst characters in the game, and the reason I wanted to make this video is because my friend, he's new to the game. I mean, I've been playing for almost five years now, but my friend's new to the game, and he doesn't really understand because, I mean, obviously, there's a lot to learn in this game with all the nodes and characters and different matchups, but. My friend had the nerve to tell me that Aegon and Morningstar, which he just got his four stars, were apparently some of the worst characters he's ever used. So I was like, no, you just don't understand them. And I was like, I gotta make this video to just show some of the top five worst characters in this game. Because some of these characters, I, I mean, it's opinion, obviously, but these five for me, I genuinely can't play them. I have no enjoyment. They're pretty terrible. And I just want to go down my top five. So yeah, let's get into it with number five. In the number five spot, we have a character from the mutant class. A class with a lot of golden characters, a lot of great characters. But him, he, he's pretty terrible. Wyatt Magneto. What makes this guy so terrible, you ask? Um, everything. Well, for starters, he is a stupid helmet. I mean, the red Magneto at least has a better helmet. But that's besides the point. He's literally the same as red Magneto in every way, but somehow worse. His awakened ability is worse than Magneto because he can prevent himself from losing more health than Red Magneto, but he has to be at a low HP for this awakened ability trigger. So if you're 100 HP, 100%, and you eat a special three, you could just get one-shotted. At least with normal Magneto, you're guaranteed to not take the damage. This guy, his special one does absolutely no damage i mean it puts it has a low chance to inflict a pretty garbage bleed he hits like a like a noodle honestly i'd say the only redeeming quality for this character which is pretty sad that this is even a pro is that he only comes as a four star you don't have to worry about getting this guy as a five star i mean red magneto you can still get but nah, at least you don't get this trash can and i guess the only other positive i could say is her special two has a heal block but that's pretty much it. I mean, his special three um, gives an armor break. I don't know when you're really going to need that. You might in some niche scenarios. But yeah, this guy just overall is pretty terrible. And not a fun time for a new player to get as their only four star. Uh, in the number four spot, we have a character that... <laughs> I mean, it's kind of sad to say. I accidentally sold him as a four star. And you can only get him from Realm of Legends completion so i don't think i'm ever gonna be able to have another four star again but we got at least i have a five star awakened thank god um rhino terrible he hit like for how big he is and look at these abs look how ripped this dude looks he hits so like just pathetically he has a 10 percent chance on hits for fury that like barely does anything for him but like to be fair though if you're against the wall you can get a fury by completing a combo but like that's Still a pretty weak fear that is nothing. He has no immunities. Immunities, he has some of the... This isn't that important, but he has some of the lowest PI out of any character I've ever seen. It's not really that important, but just thought I'd say it. His crit chance is 13.7%. And his block profici proficiency is also pretty low. I didn't even realize that. He, everything he has is just below average. It's just kind of sad. Like... For someone that tanky, why is his block proficiency so low? His crit chance is also terrible, so he does nothing. But I will be try I'll try to be nice. I can say some pros for Rhino is he is a pretty big health pool, but I guess that cancels out from his block. He's an XL character, so you can take him into variant two. Yeah, two. Which I mean I don't know why he'd be taking Rhino, but I guess last resort. He has pretty fun specials to fire off, and his playstyle is fun by just sw swiping back and then swiping in for the uh, unstoppable effect. You just go do that. In Arena, I just do that constantly. So he's a little bit fun to play, but that's like his only pros. Overall, Rhino's pretty terrible. In our number three spot, we have a champion in the tech class, one of the most underwhelming classes in the entire game. A character that most people forget even exists in this game because of how trash he is. And... You just, I mean, just look at him. He's terrible. This guy hits so weakly. Most, like, every character on this list, that's a point I'm going to make just because of how weak they are. It just blows my mind. And after looking this character over, just to see, like, what his pros and cons are, just to refresh myself since I haven't played him since, like, 
2015, 16, I don't know. He found out, looked at his awakened ability. You know, when he gets under 20% health, he gets, he triggers MP the clip, which gives him 12 stacks of fury and 12 stacks of armor. Look how weak these furies are. Each fury is 34.2. Those are some garbage furies when you compare it to a character like namor who's fury which you can stack up to like three times each fury is 300 percent attack you know when you look at a character like this it's not that impressive his special one 63 percent chance to inflict bleed and these bleeds are weak somehow this guy in the tech class at least makes iron man look good because at least iron man's awakened ability heals him this guy's awakened ability is like close to useless honestly the only thing that's good about this character that I can even think of is his special one's fun to fire off. Like, it feels good, it, like, animation-wise, as long as you don't look at the numbers, because the numbers don't make it feel good. And the, like, the pretty much the only pro of this character is that he's only a 4-star and 3-star. Like, you'll never see him in a 5-star crystal or 6-star crystal. Thank God, because, I mean, no one wants to get this guy. You Whenever you get him in a crystal, you're like, oh... He's in the game. And then the only time you also remember he's in the game is when you're versing him on like an unblockable special one node, which is very fun. But yeah, that's number three, War Machine. Very terrible. Our second place list person on this list, a character that I missed the mark on. So, just so much. Like, they just missed it so badly. You probably guessed it. Groot in the Cosmic class. This character, literally all are terrible. Genuinely one of the worst characters in the game. You want him in arena? Terrible. You bring him to any quest? Terrible. No player likes this character. Literally none. And it makes it even worse that he's available as a 5-star. Like, why? He should have been cut off like Y Benito and War Machine. Other people on the list. What makes this character so terrible? Well, basically everything. His spe He hits like, like an actual human noodle. Like, just look at him. He should be able to hit a lot harder. His special one... Literally does no damage and does nothing. His special two, it's terrible. There's no damage. At least it's unblockable and it gives you some regen. Those are like the small pluses. But the thing that makes his character so bad is like all of that combined plus the fact that he could have been so cool. His awakened ability is basically he has these charges and every time he gets hit or gets a critical to him, I think, he gains a charge. And eventually if he gets hit enough, the charges will expire and you get fury and like cruelty buffs maybe. I don't know. Exactly, but you get a small attack boost. This is terrible for, like, it's decent for deep. No, it's actually terrible for defense, too. But it, it doesn't even work on offense, because normally if you're a good player, you're not going to hit in the first place. But, like, this ability could have been so much better. I mean, I'm sorry, twice in one video, we're going to compare him to Namor. He, his ability could have been better. Could have been exactly like Namor's. I'll give an idea off the top of my head. Say he has those charges, and every few hits, like Namor, he gets a charge. And maybe at, like, 15, 20 charges... They all go down, and he gets, like, 20 fury, fury and Cruelty buffs. But, like, these buffs are actually going to be super strong. And he has this phase of damage where he's just crazy damage. Like, just, I mean, that's just off the top of my head. You could buff this character so fast and so easily, just make him not as terrible. He's an XL, so you can bring him to Varian, too. Don't know why you'd want to. He's pretty terrible. Um, The only saving grace for this dude, the only reason he's not first place, honestly, is because of bleed immunity. He at least has immunity to bleed, this one, this line right here. But, like, that's not enough to save someone this bad. Like, he's so terrible. So, yeah, this is number two, group. Now we are coming to our number one worst character in the game. I can give you a guess. I'm going to let you have a few seconds to guess who it is. He's in the skill class, the class of averageness, the most average class in the game. Literally the worst character in the entire game, Falcon. Why? Why is he why is he even a character? He is, in my opinion, this is obviously in my opinion, but he is the least fun character I've ever played in my entire life. He's in the skill class. He has to compete with Aegon and Nick Fury. He's not doing that. He does nothing special. His spe the only thing decent about him is a special one that puts on a bleed sometimes. And it's literally just a worse version of Agent Venom, the special one. That's the way I look at it. He has no immunities. He's ugly. Look at him. Like, I just, I genuinely am just so, he's a five star. Like, why? Why? He, I don't think he's in the six star pool, but I could be wrong. But he's a five star. Like, why is he in the pool? Like, take him out. 
No one likes him. He's absolutely terrible. And I know he um can swipe back and hold for two seconds and uh, reduce their ability accuracy defensive by 100% for 10 seconds. That's cool and all. But, like, the fact... Like, he might even be more useful than Groot. But I'm putting him at number one just because of how not fun he is. Like, I genuinely hate playing this character. Every time I use him in Arena, terrible. Just, I never bring him to a quest. I don't think I've ever brought this guy to a quest. Like, I just, he makes me lose brain cells of how bad he is. So, yeah, this is my opinion. Obviously, your opinion is probably going to differ. But, in my opinion, this is the worst character in the game. I genuinely hate using him. And, yeah, that's the end of the video. I'm going to put on some honorable mentions. But, overall, this guy's the worst character in the game. You know what, guys? Honestly, after looking at these five characters, I don't really want to do honorable mentions. I just, I'm, I don't want to look at any more just horrible characters. So that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. You could like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.